Hey, what's going on, my pigeon flying friends? It's Brandon here, and I'm excited today because I'm going to be showing you how to go live to YouTube Live using Live Pigeon. So let's get into this. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I've already logged into my Live Pigeon account. I'm just going to go ahead and click Connect to YouTube. From here, I'm going to choose my account. Now, it's really important that you use the right email address to connect to YouTube. This is probably our number one thing that we get hit up all the time about is I connected my YouTube. Why didn't it go live? Well, chances are you might have used the wrong email address. You thought you were going right live to the right place, but this is just something to check. The other thing that's nice about this, and we have a video about this as well, uh, which we'll put a link to, um, but making sure that you choose the correct channel. So here's what I'm trying to say about this. I just logged into this email, but if I choose this, this actually does not have a YouTube channel associated with it. Notice that underneath here, it says my email. But if I come down, see how this says YouTube? This one says YouTube. This one says YouTube. These three are the ones that I can actually go live to. So I just want to make sure that if you're not seeing this, um, number one, it might just mean that you don't have a channel set up, which we'd recommend that you do just to make sure that you're going live to the right place. Um, but anyways, what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and choose this YouTube channel that I have. And again, this is just confirming. Yep, go ahead and allow. And all this is doing is allowing us to publish on your behalf. So now that we've connected to YouTube, you can see now I have a red box. Everything else is grayed out. That just means that they're not connected. So now that I'm actually connected to my YouTube account, if I wanted to, I could hover over this and it allows me to either switch my account or disconnect it. Um, for this video, what I think we're going to do is we're just going to jump in and go live now. Once you're done there, we're going to go ahead and click next. Now, the nice part about going live just to YouTube is that there's two options. One is fill out your title and description, and the next one is to upload your video. Now, on the upload your video page here, we have four different options. One is you can upload your video file from your computer. You can upload from Google Drive or from Dropbox. We're integrated with both of those. The fourth option here is called the incubator, and I'm actually going to show you that here in just a minute. So what we're going to do is just click from my computer. I'm going to go to my movies folder here and go ahead and just click this video file here. Click upload. And now what that's going to do is it's going to sit here and it's going to upload the video. And then once your video is uploaded, we then start processing it. All right, upload complete and the pigeon flies away. So now here it says success. Your message has been successfully carried to YouTube. Notice that we have an actual live button here that's saying that we're live. And if I click view post, it will then take us over to YouTube and show us that we're actually live. Here's our title. Down below here, we have our description. Again, this is that we are live right now. And if I come back, so notice here that we are live and that we have a red box around it. The nice thing is red means that it's going to YouTube and blue here is for Facebook. We also have the little logo uh, that lets you know that this is going live. It tells me which YouTube channel I'm going live to, told me what time the video departed at. So one thing now that we are here, what I wanted to talk to you about is the incubator. That was that fourth option, right? that was on the upload page. Um, you could choose to upload your video files ahead of time into the incubator. Now your incubator is your video library. And what's really cool about this is next time I go to go live on the fourth option, see how I have a video inside of my incubator that I can actually click on and then it would take and push that video live. If you upload your video files ahead of time, this can actually make um, the ability to go live even faster, especially if you're working in a team environment. You might have a video editor who can upload the video file directly into the incubator without having to be connected to YouTube or anything like that. And then when you're ready, you can go in, connect your account, the video file's there, and then you just send it live. So that's it, you guys. That's it for this video tutorial. I hope that this has been an easy one for you just to be able to see how easy it is to go live to YouTube Live using Live Pigeon. Until next time.